Hello, and welcome back to Miss Bell's classroom. Remember to enroll in my classroom by clicking the subscribe button. In today's video, we will be covering this today. Does anyone know what object this is? Mm -hmm. It's not a planet. I'll give you a hint. It was a planet in the past. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is Pluto. So we'll be talking about Pluto today and then we'll be having some fun trivia at the end. So first we're going to discuss how big is Pluto. So raise your hand. Does anyone think that Pluto is larger than Earth? Okay, some of us do. Um, so with a radius of 715 miles, Pluto is about one-sixth of the width of Earth. If Earth was the size of a nickel, Pluto would be about as big as a popcorn kernel. From an average distance of 3.7 billion miles, Pluto is 39 astronomical units away from the sun. That means Pluto is 39 times further away from the sun than Earth is. So, can anyone guess how long it takes for light to reach Pluto from the sun? Mm -hmm. 10 hours, it's less than that. Mm -hmm. It's more than 3 hours. Mm -hmm. 5 hours, okay, it, you're, you're super close. It's five and a half hours to travel. So it takes sunlight five and a half hours to travel from the sun to Pluto. If you were to stand on the surface of Pluto at noon, the sun would be one nine hundredth the brightness that it is here on Earth, or about three times as bright as our full Sorry, not three. Three hundred times as bright as our full moon. So there is a moment each day near sunset here on Earth when the light is the same brightness as midday on Pluto. So now we're going to discuss how fast does Pluto spin. So Pluto's orbit around the sun is unusual compared to the planet's. It is both elliptical and tilted. Pluto's 248 year long oval shaped orbit can take it as far as 49.3 astronomical units from the sun and as close as 30 AU. From 1979 to 1999, Pluto was near perihelion when it is closest to the sun. During this time, Pluto was actually closer to the sun than Neptune. Can anyone guess how long it takes Pluto to complete one day? Mm -hmm. It's more than that. Mm -hmm. More? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, it is um, one day on Pluto takes about 153 hours. Its axis of rotation is tilted 57 degrees with respect to the plane of its orbit around the sun, so it spins almost on its side. Pluto also exhibits a retrograde rotation spinning from east to west, like Venus and Uranus. 
how did Pluto form is what we're going to discuss next. Dwarf planet Pluto is a member of a group of objects that orbit in a disk-like zone beyond the orbit of Neptune called the Kuiper Belt. This distance realm is populated with thousands of miniature icy worlds, which formed early in the history of our solar system about 4.5 billion years ago. These icy, rocky bodies are called Kuiper Belt Objects, Trans-Neptunian Objects, or Pluto-Oids. Pluto Pluto okay, so now we're going to discuss what is Pluto made of. So, Pluto is about two-thirds the diameter of Earth's moon and probably has a rocky core surrounded by a mantle of water ice. Interesting ices like methane and nitrogen frost coat its surface. And due to its lower density, Pluto's math mass is about one-sixth that of Earth's moon. So go ahead and grab your snack and you may eat it as we go through the rest of our lesson on Pluto. So now we're going to discuss what is Pluto's surface like. Pluto's surface is characterized by mountains, valleys, plains, and craters. The temperature on Pluto can be as cold as negative 375 to negative 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Pluto's mountains can be as tall as 6,500 to 9,800 feet and are big blocks of water ice, sometimes with the coating of frozen gases like methane. And long troughs and valleys as long as 370 miles add to the interesting features of this faraway dwarf planet. Craters as large as 162 miles in diameter dot some of the landscape on Pluto, with some showing signs of erosion and filling. This suggests tectonic forces are slowly resurfacing Pluto. The most prominent planes observed on Pluto appear to be frozen, appear to be made of frozen nitrogen gas and show no craters. These planes do show structures suggesting convection. Right, so now we're going to discuss, is there an atmosphere on Pluto? So Pluto has a thin atmosphere that expands when it comes closer to the sun and collapses as it moves farther away. This is similar to a comet. The main constituent is molecular nitrogen, though molecules of methane and carbon monoxide have also been detected. When Pluto is close to the sun, its surface ice changes directly from solid to gas. Pluto's low gravity, about 6% of Earth's, causes the atmosphere to be much more extended in altitude than our planet's atmosphere. Pluto becomes much colder during the part of each year when it is traveling far away from the sun. During this time, the bulk of the planet's atmosphere may freeze and fall as snow to the surface. So raise your hand if you think there could be life on Pluto. You think people or organisms might be able to survive there. Okay, so we don't. So the surface of Pluto is extremely cold, so it seems very unlikely that life could exist there. At such cold temperatures, water, which is vital for life as we know it, 
is essentially rock-like. Pluto's interior is warmer, however, and some think there could even be an ocean deep inside. Okay, so now we're going to discuss how many moons does Pluto have. So Pluto has five known moons, Charon, Nix, Hydra, Kerberos, and Styx. This moon system might have formed by a collision between Pluto and another similar sized body early in the history of the solar system. Charon, the biggest of Pluto's moons, is about half the size of Pluto itself, making it the largest satellite relative to the planet it orbits in our solar system. It orbits Pluto at a distance of just 12,200 miles. For comparison, our moon is 20 times farther away from Earth. Pluto and Charon are often referred to as a double planet. Charon's orbit around Pluto takes 153 hours, which is the same time it takes Pluto to complete one rotation. This means Charon neither rises nor sets, but hovers over the same spot on Pluto's surface. The same side of Charon always faces Pluto. That is called tidal locking. Pluto's other four moons are much smaller, less than 100 miles wide. They're also irregularly shaped, not spherical, not spherical like Charon. Unlike many other moons in the solar system, these moons are not tidally locked to Pluto. They all spin and don't keep the same face towards Pluto. How many rings does Pluto have is what we're going to discuss next. So raise your hand if you think Pluto has rings. Okay, good. So Pluto, there are no known rings around Pluto. Okay, and now we're going to discuss, is there a magnetosphere on Pluto? So raise your hand if you think there is. Okay, so it isn't known whether Pluto has a magnetic field, but its small size and slow rotation suggest little or none. Okay, so... I hope that you are ready for a trivia. So, number one. In what year was Pluto discovered? Uh-huh. 1950? It was before 1950. Mm-hmm. It's before 1943. Mm-hmm. Before 1940. Mm-hmm. Before 1935. Yes. Yes, correct. It was discovered in 1930. Number two. What was the name of the spacecraft that did a flyby of Pluto? Mm-hmm. It's not Voyager. That was your Uranus. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm, you're close. It was New Horizons. That was the name of the spacecraft that did a flyby of Pluto. Okay, and number three. In what year did New Horizons visit Pluto? Mm-hmm. It's not 1990. It was after that. Mm-hmm. Not 1995. 
Mm-hmm. It was not 2000. After that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was 2015 is when New Horizons visited Pluto. Okay, number four. Who is the owner of the dog Pluto? Mm-hmm. Good, yes, Mickey Mouse. Very good. Number five. Who names the former planet Pluto? No one knows? Okay. Was 11 year old Venetia Bernia. Number six. What is larger, Pluto? Or Earth's moon? What do you think? Hmm? It's not Pluto. It's Earth's moon is actually larger than Pluto. Number seven. In what year was Pluto demoted to a dwarf planet? Hmm? Was it 2010? It was before that. Good guess. Mm -hmm. It wasn't 2000. It was after that. Yes. Yes, it was demoted in 2006 to a dwarf planet. Number eight. What shape can be found on Pluto's landscape? It's not a circle. Mm-hmm. Not a square. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a heart. A heart can be found on Pluto's landscape. Number nine. In what year was Pluto the dog introduced? Mm-hmm. Was it 1940? It was before that. Mm-hmm. Good? Yeah. Okay. It wasn't 1920. After that. Mm-hmm. 1925, it was after that. Mm-hmm. Yes, it was 1930. And so Pluto the dog was introduced the same year um, that Pluto was discovered in 1930. Number 10, what three colors make up most of Pluto's surface? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you think black because you see a lot of black and white. Do you see white? Okay, so there's one more. Mm -hmm. Tan, you're close. It's kind of hard to see with this picture, but what's the other color? Mm -hmm. Yellow, you're close. Mm -hmm. Red, it's not red. It's actually dark orange. So black, dark orange, and white are the three colors that make up most of Pluto's surface. So thank you for learning or refreshing your memory on Pluto and sticking around for the trivia. Good night.